Hi, everyone. My name is Rob Vogelbacher. I'm a machine learning customer engineer at Google, where I help customers build and deploy machine learning applications on Google Cloud. In this video, we'll be discussing how to use machine learning services in Google Cloud to assist you in your customer retention efforts. For startups and enterprises alike, acquiring customers is frequently a top priority for the organization. For startups in particular, demonstrating growth through customer acquisitions is a critical requirement for gaining additional investment and demonstrating confidence in the product, platform, or solution you are bringing to market. In addition to acquiring customers, retaining customers by understanding who is at risk of churning and knowing when and how to engage with them is equally important for building a sustainable and profitable business. So how can you use machine learning to help understand which customers are at risk of churning and help identify your most loyal customers who could further evangelize your services and products? With Google Cloud, we provide several different ways of building machine learning models that help you retain your customers and predict who is most at risk of churning. One of the most popular and easily accessible ways of building machine learning models is with BigQuery ML, where you train models on your customer data using native SQL. With Vertex AI auto ML capabilities, you can train and deploy a highly performing ML model using a point and click interface in Google Console, as well as through BigQuery, and then programmatically through easy to use SDKs and APIs. And then finally, for established and advanced data science teams, we offer a rich set of capabilities for developing your own custom ML training applications on Google Cloud with Vertex AI. For today's conversation, we'll be focused on BigQuery ML and Google Cloud's auto ML capabilities. BigQuery is Google's internet scale data warehouse that offers some unique advantages for startups. It's fully serverless, easy to load data into, and has built-in machine learning algorithms as well as a very generous free to use tier where you are allocated 10 gigabytes of data storage, a terabyte of query processing, and 10 gigs of data processed when creating ML models each month. It also supports direct integration with Google Analytics and lets you build reports off your customer data with a few clicks of Data Studio. Building and deploying ML models with BigQuery can be as simple as writing a few lines of SQL code. The integrated ML engine has smart defaults in place for traditional model types like linear and logistic regression, as well as the more advanced methods like neural networks and boosted trees. Using the integrated query scheduler, you can automate the building and deploying of your ML models without the need for moving your data out of BigQuery. Once you have your customer and engagement data in BigQuery, you can easily build a classification model which predicts the probability of a customer churning and help you identify those users on the fence who would be good targets for an intervention. In order to build that model, you should collect a wide variety of customer-related data, how your customers are interacting with your product and platforms, their purchase history, in-app behavior, engagement metrics, in addition to some descriptive demographic data about your customers. Define churn based on a lapse in engagement over a specified period of time, or by identifying those customers who haven't renewed a subscription. Ultimately, how you define churn is gonna be up to you based on how you manage your business. To build your machine learning model in BigQuery, choose a classification model type like logistic regression or boosted trees, identify the column with your churn flag, and then select the table or view holding your customer demographic and behavioral data. That's it. After the model has been built, you can inspect the results directly in the BigQuery console, or again, use SQL to understand how well the model performed and its predictive value across different probability thresholds. For your churn classification model, explore the confusion matrix, the F1 score, and the different error metrics reported back by the evaluation. Be sure you iterate and test. Once you are happy with the performance of the model, Generating predictions is a, as simple again as writing a few lines of SQL. Referencing your churn model as part of the ML predict function to output the, those churn probabilities for your customers so that you could take the appropriate action. You can also easily export out your prediction data as a CSV file or a JSON file out to cloud storage to support integration with your marketing systems and other downstream CRM systems. As you can see here, 
With a few simple steps, you can easily use BigQuery machine learning to build a useful churn prediction model to help ensure that you focus your intervention efforts on the right customers, making best use of your limited resources as you scale your company. Now, in addition to BigQuery ML, Google's AutoML technologies are another great way to build highly performing models to help retain and meaningfully engage with your customers. AutoML is Google's automated machine learning service that handles much of the heavy lifting for you when building models to help engage and retain your customers. Building a model can be as easy as selecting your model label or target in your data set, specifying the training budget and the number of hours to train, and then clicking train. Simple as that. Behind the scenes, the AutoML service is inspecting and transforming your data uh, to improve the chances that your ML model is able to learn the meaningful signals from your customer data set. It additionally includes guardrails to help ensure you build models that don't perform poorly due to some issues with your data, such as imbalanced classes or missing values in your data set. AutoML is built on the latest research and techniques in AI and machine learning developed in Google Research and automatically searches through a wide range of model types and approaches to find the best candidate model for your specific customer data set. In addition to being available via the Google Cloud Console and programmatically through our SDK and APIs, AutoML is also available to use directly from within BigQuery, simply by specifying the model type as an AutoML model type when building your classification or regression model. We see AutoML and BigQuery ML as complementary technologies that open up avenues for building machine learning models without heavy custom development. And for those organizations who are building custom models, both AutoML and BigQuery ML are additional tools in your toolbox that can help you to acquire and retain customers by easing the burden to produce high quality and well-performing ML models without extensive code. We have a wide variety of additional resources out there to help you effectively use machine learning as part of your customer retention strategy. Instant BQML is an online resource you can use to build a series of standardized BQML models off of your Google Analytics data in just a few clicks, as well as helping you to automate that process using integration with open source CRM. We also have a full-blown example created by our developer advocacy team, which walks you through the process of developing a churn prediction model. In this case, an example targeted at game developers using Google Analytics and BQML. In addition to these churn and propensity models, we also have a multi-series blog post and accompanying code, which demonstrates how to use AutoML to predict customer lifetime value. So you can know which of your customers are driving the most revenue to help ensure your efforts are focused on retaining the right customers versus those that may be negatively impacting your bottom line. With that, I wanna thank you for your time today and I wish you happy model building. I look forward to engaging with you live in the CBC community and the Q&A. Special thanks to our BQML developer advocates, Polong and Minhas for creating much of the content around churn prediction.